Ammo here from the Charter Connection Fishing Charters and the Charter West Diversity, bringing you the Top Catch Bait and Tackle Fishing Report for the week. That's right, Top Catch are our partner for the next few months, and uh, we're going to be running some uh, product um, testing and uh, also showing you some products that uh, we use to uh, help us catch more fish. So let's get straight to it. First things first, the other day. Um, uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, Thursday, uh, I was on the phone uh, hunting around some fish for the weekend and uh, one of the things that came about was I ended up talking to one of the scallop boats that was working out of Wurianga now, um, uh, Wurianga and uh, Coromandel, sorry. Uh, they'd been steaming up past the Happy Jacks out of uh, Colville there, uh, Colville Bay. Uh, and come across uh, some pretty mean snapper schools uh, on the bottom and um, they had the forethought to give us a little tinkle and let us know that uh, there's some fish there. Um, we went, we fished, we conquered. There was stacks of snapper there and um, ever since then it's been pretty good although the last trip things uh, just died down a wee bit and, uh, and they weren't as good uh, as previous. So I also uh, using the information thinking all the time, talked to another trawler um, and uh, they are working sort of uh, between Coromandel and Cuvia and uh, out in the area there, out in the puddle and, uh, and they were catching uh, some real nice fish, uh, white bellies, um, real sharp fins on their back, sharp teeth, real good condition fish, the new stock of school fish if you like, so pretty exciting stuff. Those fish are going to start coming through that Colville area, just like they have first up uh, in the last few years. They're going to start pouring through that Colville channel and um, and down. Now we may have missed some of them uh, that came through in that last easterly blow or got pushed through with those bigger tides and they've actually come down and around the corner and uh, dropped down into the top of the Firth basically, well out off the top of the Firth. In fact, if you went to chart number, and I'll just look at my wall to find the number for you, I think it's 532. Chart number 532. Um, above the Firth it says Harrahi Golf. Well, that's they're in there. You can't miss it. Hey, I'll quickly show you. God, I don't want to show, show all my secrets. They're out there. And there's stacks of them. Now, you may not... Uh, you may not always um, get them, they could be on the bite, there could be something to do with the moon phase, the water's still cold so they don't have to always uh, feed up exactly how you think they should, but they are there, there are good numbers there, so that's a real good spot to start. Um, in saying that, uh, so we had a, real, a couple of good trips there, then a slow trip, and then the next trip we were, we were back uh, and we did a kids trip. and. Um, it was only a short trip, so we went and fished the Tiri Channel. Uh, it was also out of the breeze and whatnot. So uh, we went in there, and much to our surprise, uh, we ended up doing not too bad, uh, getting some kids uh, onto some panties. And um, panties are sort of 35 centimetre snapper and up. Um, and got them onto some reasonable fish in there. Um, not great numbers, but just slowly ticking away, and uh, pleasantly surprised with, uh, with what came of that. Um, so yeah, all in all, things just starting to pick up, so I'm pretty positive, pretty positive. Anyway, um, our next few trips are going to be back over where I've just shown you on the chart, and uh, also um, some other places that uh, we're sort of working on as well. Now, a couple of things uh, that we've been doing lately, just stand, bear with me a second. These are the new uh, Black Magic. Uh, hooks that are coming out. We're doing some product testing on these. So far so good. These have done one trip on our higher rods um, and they've, they're really good. Um, I'll just quickly pull one out of the pack without tearing myself the shreds of one because they are very sharp. thing I like about these hooks, uh, this is a 6 bar O, so in my little scone grabber it's quite a small hook. Um, they come in a range of sizes of course and there's sort of uh, about a dozen in a pack depending on the size hook that you get. Um, this is a 6 bar O and what I like about this is the offset um, eye, this makes it really nice for a straight lining hook. They also, uh, if you're going to use them on a ledger rig, they'll actually sit quite nice on a ledger rig as well. You cannot see it properly but the tip of the hook is incredibly sharp and the gauge of the hook is very small gauge, So, but they are an incredibly, incredibly strong hook. I can normally get 
a hook and give it a real good heave and I can if it's not a gamma cat or an owner or a decent quality hook I can normally lean my 130 odd kilos into it and uh, and deform it so that's with a cheaper hook that you might buy somewhere now this hook being very thin gauge and having only a very small barb if you can just see that very small barb all equals awesome penetration power APP remember that APP is awesome penetration power now that's pretty important when the fish are soft on the bite especially at the moment you want to be able to hit them hard bang and you're hooked none of this pip pip oh you missed him because your hook was a blunt old rusty old uh, piece of number eight wire that was as thick as uh, fencing wire you know anyway keep these in mind you're gonna see these on the shelf soon uh, I don't think they're in stock yet top catch will have them uh, they'll be the first stores to have them and uh, or among the first, and keep your eyes out for these. Black Magic Sea Point hooks. So far, so good. The testing continues. We'll be testing hundreds of these and uh, getting back to you uh, with how they go. Really good quality, um, thin gauge, very small barb, so it makes it easy to release and also to get that APP working for you, that awesome penetration power. The other thing uh, that caught my eye the other day, and uh, you may or may not have seen these, um, these have been around for a bit of time now, but uh, um, I'm not always the fastest on the uptake, and that's the Seabull uh, Lures, and this one here, this is just the duck's nuts. It's got a coloured dye inside it. So that there mimics a wounded bait fish, and it's a little bit mesmerising, so for some of you there, uh, just move back from your uh, computer screens or your TVs or wherever you're watching this because I don't want you to get too excited. But that is just the bee's knees or the duck's nuts, isn't it? Look at that. Good quality hooks, good quality uh, O-ring, and um, the only thing is not very heavy. So more of a shallow water bait uh, or lure, uh, artificial bait. Um, you can see the lead inside it there. Exhibit A and Exhibit B, your uh, your die, which uh, just step back or close your eyes again if you need to. So it's not a very heavy, heavily weighted um, lure. Now these things emit a very slow vibration, and the reason they do that is because they've got a flared gill, and you can just see the profile of the lure there, and you may just be able to see the flare down here in the gill. That emits a slow vibration rather than a faster vibration, okay? Now the Shimano Waxwing, which is another one that uh, I'm also a bit of a, a bit of a fan of when it comes to fishing hard bodies, um, has a slightly different action again. So uh, I'll just show you another two. This is the Spin Shad. Now this is uh, a 35 gram and uh, it's actually got the spinner on the back. Now those of you that have... Uh, Trout fish before or, or fish for salmon would have seen this sort of thing and it's nothing new but again it's good quality componentry, a good quality uh, treble hook and uh, this here is actually heavier than this one. Okay so this is the one that I'm going to be using um, probably the most and I also like the size of this, I also like the big fat head. Uh, and that way that the gills are flared out just to emit a slower vibration. So the last one in my little box of tricks is uh, is the swimmer. Now um, no no uh, secrets as to why this would work on a slow cast and retrieve. Um, you get that doing its boogie woogie in the water and uh, you know it's all go. Again unfortunately it's not weighted heavy enough for my liking. That doesn't mean it's not weighted heavy enough, but for my liking, it's not weighted heavy enough. And uh, you can see the weight in there now. It's not very heavy. I'm looking for the weight on it. It feels like about 30 grams. But cast and retrieve in the shallows around some wash. Um, that's where I'm taking it. So uh, I like the look of it. I like the way it's got the spots on it. Sort of trout-like. And uh, yeah, so there's also another one there as well. Just watch those uh, triples. Okay, so that's uh, that's what's been happening. That's a couple of things that we're trying out at the moment. 
and uh, that's where we want to be going with uh, with our fishing. We want to be hitting the top of the Firth and slightly north of there. Also in the middle ground, uh, if you're heading across the Gulf, keep your eyes open. Um, look for those little stick marks on the bottom. That's where uh, what I saw on the sounder, little sticks, just tiny little sticks sticking up. Now, <laughs> somebody said to me, uh, oh, well, what would that mean? You know, and you know they normally be looking for a beehive, or you know we caught quite a few fish there. So you normally be looking for a beehive or a Nike shape. And I said to them, and this may be a true word spoken in jest, it's the snapper with their heads down and their tails in the air feeding on all the shellfish. Was I right? Anyway, that's uh, me out of here. Uh, I have spaces on Friday's trip if you're interested. Um, it's just in a few days, so keep that in mind. It's going to be a real nice day. Lots of fish. You can catch us on Facebook at uh, Diversity-Fishing. I just gave away a fishing trip for uh, somebody the, uh, called Julie. And uh, Julie was one of the last 50 likes. I'll keep doing that sort of thing if you guys keep liking our page and popping in and saying hi. Uh, the other place you'll see us is on charterconnection.co.nz. Make sure you catch up with us there. The $99 special is still on till the end of August. 10-hour fishing trip, 99 bucks out of Gulf Harbour, 7 till 5, can't go wrong, fishing the other side of the Gulf, over by the Mandal, under the mountain, that's where we're at, pop into your Top Catch store, best bait and tackle in the country, make sure you do it, out.